Hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to prepare your instrument for a trip or how to deal with your instrument when it's feeling a bit weird, you know, it's a bit tight or it's, you know, it's not responding as it should. Um, as you, of course, know, uh, our instruments are very sensitive to changes of pressure, changes of like humidity, changes of a lot of stuff. You know, very often my cello feels a bit tight and um, then the next day it rains. So, you know, it feels all this stuff. And there is a few things we can do to, to help out our instrument. Um, first of all, when going on a trip, on a plane, as you know, the cabins are very, very dry and this affects our instruments uh, a lot. If you take a short trip, two, three hours, maybe it's not that bad, but if you take a long trip, like eight to 12 hours, uh, this is a long time for, for the instrument. So I would recommend you to buy, and this affects, of course, all string instruments, to buy some silk cover, just to, you know, you put your instrument in a silk cover, and this silk has a great property of, you know, helping maintain the humidity. So that's point number one. Then I would recommend you to use one of these, the damp pits, you know, you put them in the, through the F-hole, and, and it, it, it does help a lot. Uh, to really that just to maintain a, a good level of humidity or a stable level of humidity uh, throughout the, the trip. Then, and I don't do this every time because it can, you know, be a bit not great for the strings, but when I have a long trip and I feel like my, you know, it's going to be very different setting, for example, I'm going to like a very high altitude or very low altitude, you know, depends where I am, I will put the strings down just like half a tone, just nothing, just enough so the instrument is a bit more relaxed, you know, if it's not very tight and when you get there uh, it's a completely different altitude, humidity, blah, 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 the cello feels it and then it just becomes very tight. For example, now I'm, I am in Pittsburgh, I came from, uh, from where was I, from, from, from Switzerland, I was in, in Switzerland, I was at 2000 meters uh, altitude, um, then I uh, get here, you know, it's obviously not at 2000 meters altitude, so the cello, it felt it a bit. Uh, I didn't put the strings down for the trip, I just thought because, you know, it was sounding fine, so I, I let it be, sometimes you don't need to, to do it. Um, but here it is, so I left it uh, during the night, just half a tone, a bit, you know, to, to rest during the night, and it really fixed it. Another thing to take in care when your instrument is not feeling right, maybe you have to watch that your bridge is well set. Um, we need to have always a bridge completely straight and I would dare to say it's even better to have it a tiny bit more in this direction than in this direction. This is completely bad. This is great, this quite good. Uh, many violin makers will try to tempt to put them the bridge a little bit like this, you know, to have perfect balance. So if you're at home and your instrument is feeling weird, try to see how your bridge is. Uh, if you want to, to move your bridge uh, yourself, of course not the legs, the legs we never touch, but if you want to change this thing which can happen just by tuning, you know, regular tuning every day with the, with the, um, uh, with this, the, the bridge obviously just moves a little bit. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it, but be very careful, obviously. What I do is I put the instrument like this, making sure I have it, you know, controlled. I lift a little bit from here, from behind the bridge, lift the strings, and then very, very, very minimum, I move it a little bit like this, bloop. Nothing, you will feel it, um, just be very, very careful. Now I don't need to do it because I just did it yesterday. Yeah, so what I just did when I got here, felt my instrument was weird, put down the strings a little bit through the night, let it sleep. Next morning, put the strings up, check the bridge is fine. If it needs a little bit adjustments, do it, and that's it. Another thing just for a cellist, uh, I want to tell you how to put your instrument on the plane because I've seen it the other way around and I think this is, and I'm gonna put a picture, this is clearly the best way to put the, the instrument. As you can see, uh, it really fits like a regular person. You know, the legs um, are down and the head is up. Even though it might feel a bit counterintuitive, it's much better because if you realize 
if the person in front of you puts the seat down, you know, if you have it the other way around, so the head of the cello up, the back of the seat is gonna go straight into the bridge. Um, you know, nothing might happen because if you have a hard case, but you take the risk of breaking even the case, there's a lot of pressure coming and the bridge is obviously what we want to protect uh, the most. So if you do it like this, you know, it doesn't you know go up, uh, it doesn't go down, the cello is completely safe there. Um, it's completely safe inside the case, you know, they're packed like this, you know, so it's not gonna move, it doesn't matter if it's upside down uh, and no other passenger is gonna hurt your instrument by going down, uh, going back with, the, with their seat, with their recliner. So that's it guys, just a few uh, tips to maintain your instrument at the best condition possible. So I hope it's useful and happy practicing.